Hi everyone, welcome back. It's Moe, Key Swedish Whiskey Girl. And today I'm here with this. It's the Macro Bay Cask Strength. It's bottled at 58.6% ABV and it's peated to 50 ppm. And of course, it's from the distillery Kilhoman, which is located on Isla. It's a fairly new distillery on Isla, I would say, if you compare to some of the ones that have been there <laughs> a really long time, over 100 years. Um, so yeah, it's fairly recent. It's a very fascinating distillery, I think. And Macker Bay is, of course, part of their core release range. And I think it's 90% ex bourbon casks and 10% sherry casks. So it's um, definitely a high proportion of bourbon casks in this one. And I'm gonna be honest, Macker Bay hasn't been my favorite Calhoun so far, but I think this is only a theory, not sure if it's gonna work, but I think it might be changing. Because the Sineg, and especially the, the old version of Sineg, used to be a big favorite of mine. But since I've been enjoying bourbon cast lately, I think it might be changing. And this cast drink macker bay was kind of a, a release that they had fairly recently, and quite a limited release. I think it sold at around 60 pounds and I think it's sold out in a lot of places already but it's uh I think they even had little sheep with Santa hats on it on the on the box which is quite cute but yeah I'm really looking forward to trying it and yeah this is the first time I'm trying it and not even had a little sip so very fascinated let's start by having a look on the nose hmm interesting A lovely kind of sweet bonfire smoke on this one. Almost like honey and some sort of a little bit tart citrus fruit, so maybe like a grapefruit. But like when you have grapefruit and honey on like yogurt, but without the yogurt, but. Yeah, a little bit of honey and grapefruit. They're quite sweet and desserty, like almost a like creme brulee or toffee smoke. And quite fruity still, so a little pear notes. We are of course going to add some water later on, but I will start by having a little taste when it's like this. A cast ring. So let's launch that. Hmm. It's quite different on the palate. It's quite a briny smoke. It's um, a little bit of tar and a little bit of old rugged leather. Quite strong, I would still say. I mean, I feel like someone who's just been out on the, the sea, maybe on Isla. Of course, Macker Bay is a, a big kind of sandy beach quite close to Cahoman on the island of Isla, which is located here on the west coast of Scotland. And it's, I mean, if you've been out on the boat and the weather's been quite rugged and quite stormy perhaps, and you come back in and you're quite, you're a little bit cold and you're a little bit kind of, it's been raining and you know what I mean, quite gritty. And then you have a drama with this, I think, you could definitely sip it at cast strength, <laughs> but it's uh, yeah, I'd probably say I would add a few drops of water just to see what happens. The nose is stunning, which makes me think that maybe more of those aromas will come out with a little bit of water. Hmm. I don't know where my pipette is actually, so I'm just gonna take my water glass and pour a little bit of water, and this, of course. Try and just have a few drops in it to see what happens. You can definitely see those oils swirling around and kind of mixing with the water. Even more toffee now. Interesting. I wasn't expecting it to be that toffee. Hmm. Mm, it's um, 
for me it improves a lot with a dash of water it's it just calms down this kind of tarry gritty rugged leather notes and brings out a little bit more kind of a it's that toffee note comes out I'm very surprised by that that toffee notes and a little bit of a fruitiness still quite woody in flavour I'm, pro I'm gonna have another sip but then I'm gonna add a little bit more water because I really want to add water to the point where I can really taste what's underneath the smoke because I mean 50 ppm is heavily peated so it is intriguing to see what you can find underneath I don't know lately I've just been enjoying a lot of whiskey sitting at lower strengths and especially with when you add lots of water it's um I think it's just a face I'm going through Mmm, toffee. Then what is that fruitiness? Adding a quite a big dash of water this time, just to see what happens. Just to allow it to blend. Or it's like an apple peel fruitiness almost. Now I've added water so the nose is starting to disappear a little bit. It's um, still there and I think it's also being affected. I am going to have a sip of water. I can't get much on the nose when it's still the alcohol is still on my palate. Yeah, quite a sea breezy note on the nose. Yeah, it's more apple peel now, I would say. Interesting. But it still has a dense and oily character to the spirit. A bit of an oak, woody spice, but it feels softer now. Definitely a little bit sweeter on the nose, I think, for me. Now that toffee note has disappeared. It's very green and very kind of shore. Standing on the shore, a little bit of tarry ropes, a little bit of that kind of gritty feel about it. And almost a bit like of, of a meatiness. Like a smoked meat. Quite robust, I would say. Hmm. Interesting. I'd love to hear your thoughts. Have you tried Macro Bay or have you tried this cast strength? Perhaps you've compared the two. I'd love to hear your thoughts. Please put them in the comment section here below. And of course, if you would like to support me and my channel, if you like this video, I'd be absolutely over the moon if you consider using my affiliate links the next time you're shopping with either Master Malt, the Whiskey Exchange or the Scotch Malt Whiskey Society. All those links and the links to my other channels, like my Patreon and my website, you'll find in the little section here below. And of course, if you liked the video, I'd be absolutely thrilled if you would subscribe if you haven't already and perhaps leave a like on the video. As always, a massive thank you to my wonderful supporters on Patreon. I'm so grateful that I have your support on my whiskey journey. But I hope you've all had an absolutely wonderful day. Slanjava, Skål!